show them going anywhere. Hey folks, today is March 15th. It's currently 9.30 in the morning. As you can see, I'm currently in the trade room. Avengers are uh, just switching this chart to the June uh, 2016 contract. As you can see, I already have mine up here. Changed as well. So now we're just going to wait and see what happens today. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I'll come back once he's uh, looking at entering a trade or once he sees a setup worth taking. All right, he's finished uh, drawing his charts here. using a really okay. tight stop stops right below the low guys keeping a little tight stop see how we play out off the beginning here 1996.50 all right so we actually got the exact same fill nice 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 that's a good thing All right, so we're risking uh, two. Even stop at 1996.50. 1996.50 is our stop here, guys. 1996.50. Let's see if anything happens here. 1996.50 is still a little bit tough. Let's just see if it wants to go. 1996.50 stops, guys. down all the way again. If it does, we'll look to buy them again down there. So nineteen ninety. 
1990-650 on the futures, guys. Well, watch and see if this whole area can hold down here. If they flush all the way down again, maybe even look again at the buy side. Stop filled. Okay. There we go. Not even moving. What a tough market, man. What a tough market. Market's moving pretty slow right now. So that was a break even trade. Not even a tough market. Tough market. Not even moving. All right, guys, let's just buy it again down here. Buying it again down here. Even though it's a little bit low, uh, high. Put our stops at the bottom for now. All right, watching one more time. Got a point and a half risk, guys. Only a point and a half risk. It's not so bad. Stops at the lows. Watch and see if they hold. Let's go ahead and make this one to one. And we'll just leave it in and see what happens here. Futures on the buy side. Futures on the buy side. Uh, I covered up my... Here it is. Okay. I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can on this one chart or on this one monitor. So that's why everything is so scrunched up. Futures on the buy side. Head down there. Stops again at break even, 97 stops. Let's just see if they hold them. It's a very whippy market, guys. So let's just see if Target they hold it here and turn up. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, so he's just staying with the futures. Let's just see how far they want to go, guys. Stay with the futures. Let's see how far they want to go, guys. Let's see if this is going to turn into something big or not. Okay. Now it's tough markets here, man. Really tough markets. But the futures are something special. Tough, tough markets.
doing they're doing two positions, uh, two contracts, two lots of the S and P futures. The S and P futures are similar to forex in terms that you're buying and selling contracts or lots. Uh, these would be equivalent to lot sizes. All right, these are equivalent to lot sizes in the forex. Uh, we suggest to have around $3,500 to $5,000 in an account. It's very volatile. The markets are very, very fast. It's a much different game than Forex. As you can see here, much, much different game than Forex. This is where the big boys get really rich, guys. The big boys get really rich in futures in a very fast way to play this is very fast All right very very fast playing game much different than forex in terms of uh yeah right here right there on the chart that's the money so we have um this is live trading guys this is real money trading i'm doing a, a trading amount uh, at the smallest size that uh, we suggest. So I'm not doing a normal size that I would do, obviously. Um, but I would do, I'm doing it where the smallest amount you should trade. Okay? So guys, I'm exiting half of my position. So we exited half, guys. So we locked in 100 bucks no matter what. And uh, what we're going to do now is as this moves higher, we're going to lock in more. So uh, regardless, I'm locking in $50 right here. 50, uh, oops, I'm sorry. Locking in more money right here. Put a stop there. So no matter what, even if we get stopped, we make money on the second position. So we locked in profits on half of our position right now. Uh, yeah, you need about three thousand to five thousand dollars, man. Thirty-five hundred, five thousand minimum to start with the futures. Okay. Did you need it? Okay. So now I'm putting, I'm locking in right now. Right here, I'm locking in more money. So now we can't lose. We can only make money on the day. And uh, we're watching to see if this market wants to turn up for us and start locking really higher. So we'll see what happens now, guys. Let's we'll see what happens. When you get stopped out, it's okay. We locked in money no matter what. If we don't get stopped out, we're just going to ride it. Ride it higher. There are brokers like, um, just like Forex brokers, there's futures brokers. Same thing. Okay? Just like Forex brokers, there's futures brokers. Uh, same exact thing. Yeah, tough little market. And uh, we're trying to see if this wants to go. If it does, we're going to ride it higher, guys. Take a nice little ride to the other side. <clears throat> Let's see. How you feeling, Hector? Everything all right? So we lost the money already, and now we got the second position in profit. If it stops us out, it's okay. We still got a profit on the day. Oh, that's good, man. I've been real busy, brother. It's like, it's like I uh, Stop filled. wake up and I'm like a, you know, with a tornado every morning. So let's just see how we did here today, guys. We, we should have done okay. Right? We should have done okay today. Give about 192 bucks. How'd you guys do, guys? How'd you make money? You make money, guys? Make money? 45, 450. This is nice. You see what I'm saying? This is nice. 
This is nice. 375. Look at this. Ah, this is nice, guys. This is nice. All right. All right. Good. Good. Hey, guys, look. You know, we make some money. We're done. We're done. And, um, really, there's not much to, to educate here other than the fact we're in a little trading range. That's it. You know? All we did was watch, um, watch the market down here to see if it was going to hold. And when it did, we jumped into the market. We saw it was holding, and that was it. It wasn't anything special. We didn't do anything special this morning. We did nothing fancy. No fancy schmancy pants. But, yeah, we did all right. Let's take a look. All right, guys, we're now at 16 minutes and 30 seconds right now. I did not want it to run that long, but that's just what ended up happening. But I wanted you guys to... Uh, Get an idea of how the uh, trade room they, operates. Um, they've been operating since. I'm sorry, 1980. And typically, he'll uh, answer questions once he gets done with his uh, trading for the day and everything. I'm not sure if he'll continue trading or if he's done, but they will typically uh, go until about 10:30 or so. But this is a typical day in the room, from what I've seen. He'll make profits. He doesn't overtrade. You know, once he uh, gets us into profit, we'll typically uh, stop at that point. And I'll leave this running a little bit longer. Most days we'll end up taking one or two trades just depending on what the market is doing. And that's what I like, especially uh, over a lot of the robots. If he doesn't deem the day to be good for trading, he's not going to overtrade in that market. You know, so you have to... Uh, Expect that some days you might only get one or two trades, other days you might get more. Fifties, the S and P. So um, it's fifty dollars. It's fifty dollars a point. Twelve dollars and fifty cents a tick. There's four ticks in a point.
All right, folks, I think that's going to be it here. It's about 10 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. We're already at 20 minutes. We made profits on the day, like everybody was able to profit. So I'm going to uh, be back tomorrow. Hopefully, I know we had talked about trading Monday through Friday in the futures, but that's obviously going to be uh, his call. So we'll see what happens. But either way, I'll be back tomorrow, March 16th, and hopefully uh, I'll get another video out to you guys then. All right, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.